What up, YouTube? What up, TTC? Dirty Bird Nation, what's good? It is Wednesday morning. Uh, we play on Sunday, 1 o'clock, against the Detroit Lions. We're taking the trip up to Motown, facing uh, Matt Stafford and the Detroit Lions, um, coming off a big win versus the Packers. Um, I do expect this to be a close game, unlike uh, some of my other Falcons uh, <laughs> video makers. I, I think it'll be a close game. I think Detroit has uh, a lot of weapons on offense that a lot of people don't know about. And uh, I think they're going to play as tough. I mean, they're at home. Um, you know, they 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 know, you know, the, the environment, man. They, they know the dome. They know, hey, you know, we know how to move the ball. You know what I mean? Because they're home. So. Um, they're definitely going to come out ready to play. We're going to get their best shot. I think a lot of teams were going to get their best shot this year, given the success that we had last year. So we're going to get their best shot. They're going to come out ready to play. Um, and, you know, hopefully our defense steps up. I mean, we had a couple key injuries with uh, Beasley and um, my uh, Upshaw. So, you know, hey, man, it's, it's time for the other guys to step up. I mean, our, our D-line is very deep. Uh, Adrian Claiborne, I feel like he can get it done. I feel like uh, Brooks Reed can get it done. I feel like our D line can get it done. I mean, we have talent at that, you know, at that position um, to get pressure on Stafford. So, uh, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a, a a difficult contest. I mean, I think this game will come down to maybe a field goal or a late game winning drive to to get the win because uh, they're gonna be ready to play. A lot of teams. Uh, that we play this year, they're amped up because, you know, we're the defending NFC champions. So um, this is a good test for us, though. Looking at the teams that we play uh, later on this year, you know, we play the Patriots, we play the Seahawks. Uh, you know, we got the Aints twice. We got the Yucks twice. You know, so this is this is this is good. You know, I'm, I'm glad we're um, we're getting an early test for our defense to see. If we really, if we really can play, you know what I mean. In order to be the best, you have to beat the best. And uh, Stafford, I mean, he's he's talent wise, he's one of the the best quarterbacks uh, in the NFL. Um, his record doesn't show it, you know what I mean. Uh, if you look up his record against you know teams above five hundred, it's not it's not really good. I mean, you can Google that stat; it's not really that good. Um, but you know, that's not all his fault. I mean, his numbers. Do not lie, you know what I mean, as far as yards, as far as touchdowns. Um, me being a Georgia fan, I mean, I was a big-time Stafford fan when he was down here, man. I, I thought the guy played awesome. Uh, yes, he had some good weapons, you know, and, and yes, he was on a, a decent team. But, you know, I, I definitely got love for Stafford. I got a Stafford jersey from Georgia. So, um, yeah, man, it's, it's, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. It's going to be a good test for us. I feel like if we can shut this offense down, if we can limit this offense to, you know, less than 20 points, then we'll be good against Dak Prescott. We'll be good against, you know, um, Russell Wilson and, and, and Drew Brees and Tom Brady and all the, all the rest of the teams we play this year. I mean, if you look at our schedule, we play the best of the best this year. You know, so if we run the table this year, um, I have – the utmost confidence that we'll make it back to the Super Bowl. But it starts. It starts on Sunday. I mean, the proof is in the pudding on Sunday. We have to prove ourselves on Sunday. We have to line up against these people and, and beat them. You know what I mean? And and show the rest, not only ourselves, but the rest of the NFL that defensively we can play. Offense, I'm not worried about our offense. I mean, it's pick your poison on our offense. It really is. Um these teams, you know, whether they're going to try to um, get pressure on Matt Ryan, uh, blitz, you know, bracket uh, coverage Julio, double team Julio. Um, Sanu is, I mean, this dude is is showing out, man. A, a lot of people, you know, don't realize uh, the talent level that Sanu has. I mean, this dude is a baller, man. He's got good hands. He's got good speed. And he's bigger than, you know, what what most people expect. I mean, sometimes he just boxes out corners because they're they're smaller than he is. So he has a, you know, he, he has a big target area. Um, as far as our backs, I mean, Freeman and um, and Coleman, I mean, you can drop it off to him. You know, as far as short passes, you can give him the ball. 
um, and they'll they'll get you four or five yards. Um, if you know you don't wrap them up, you don't tackle them. They're capable of breaking long runs, uh, as we've seen last year. I mean, these guys have speed. These guys have vision. Um, they have agility, and they're very very dangerous. Uh, Hooper, I think Hooper's going to get off this game. Uh, he gets lost in the shuffle a lot. I know he gets he gets lost in the sauce a lot. So um, I feel like he he's due for a good game. And then um, with Schrader going out with that uh, concussion, man, you know, uh, we had another right tackle come in, step up, uh, do his thing. We also had a, um, a free agent that we acquired in the offseason that's, that's healthy now, so he's ready to step in as well. So um, it's just next man up. I mean, this is football. You're going to have injuries, but, you know, that's why you acquire talent in the offseason. You train these guys up and get them ready. So when you do have injuries – you can come out there, you know, make your adjustments, get guys to fill in and, and step up and play. So um, my prediction for Sunday, uh, Falcons win uh, 31 to 21. That's going to be my score prediction, prediction 31 to 21. Uh, I feel like we'll get up on them early, just like we did with the Packers. Um, they might get a touchdown or maybe 10, 12 points in garbage time but um yeah 31 to 21 is going to be my uh my final score prediction uh falcons come out with the with a w but you know if it's closer it wouldn't surprise me if it comes down to a, a matt bryan field goal it wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me you know what i mean um special teams is, is always a threat i mean they had the the freaking 88 yard punt return against the giants so that's always going to be an area of concern with us and then um, you know, stopping stopping not 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 stopping Stafford, but uh limiting him, you know, and uh not giving up big plays and forcing him to throw um into tight windows and, and creating turnovers, I feel like will be the deciding factor. It definitely was against the the Packers. I mean, um we got up on them early, they started to come back, but those two turnovers just pretty much crushed all their hopes, you know what I mean? Uh Trufant definitely did his thing. That game, uh, Beasley did his thing. I saw Tack get a get a huge hit on Rodgers. So yeah, um, Dirty Birds. Hey, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be serious on Sunday. It's going down on Sunday. So um, hopefully, you know, the team steps up. Hopefully, we get another win to go to three and zero. And then we got Buffalo back at home, and then we got the bye week. So yeah, these next three weeks are definitely gonna tell me a lot. Uh, about our team, about our players, you know, about the organization and um, how the future is going to go. So um, salute to everybody out there uh, repping my Falcons, um, you know, all, this, all the training staff, everybody that's affiliated with the team, all the fans. Uh, salute to y'all. Y'all take it easy. AR10XX signing out.